Is your QLED safe from viruses, hackers, and malware? This is a question that a lot of people have been asking for the last three days, and I'm going to be answering this question now. Now, for those who aren't caught up on this issue, three days ago, Samsung released a tweet that they now deleted that urges consumers to update or at least scan for viruses. Now, the tweet read the following, scan your computer for viruses or scanning your computer for viruses and malware uh, is important because it keeps it running smoothly. And they were saying that this is true even for your QLED TV if it's connected to Wi-Fi. Preventing malicious malware to attacks on your TV and viruses uh, is basically accomplished by scanning every few weeks. Now, for anyone who has their television connected Wi-Fi, this is probably alarming news. Nobody wants to hear that their television can run the risk of, again, being hacked and all their personal data being stolen. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to scan to see if you have a virus. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your picture options on your Samsung by hitting your home menu on your QLED. You're gonna scroll over to settings. Now, once in the settings menu, you're gonna go down to general or just look for the wrench. It's very easy that way. I found that that's kind of sometimes my way of getting around having to read quite quickly if I wanna get it done and just bang it out. Now, once you're there, you can go to System Manager, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see Smart Security, and then hit Select. Now, once in Smart Security, you're going to click Scan. Now, it'll prepare files and then scan for the infected files, and then once it does all of that, then it will give you either a good or a bad. It'll let you know what's going on. As you see, mine has said that there are no viruses. So when you see that, you're good to go there and you have nothing to worry about. Though now in the event that something has, again, corrupted or destroyed some part of your television, I would give Samsung a call to make sure that, again, they're on the up and up. Because again, I just find it very weird that now they deleted a tweet that again was urging consumers to check for malware and check for viruses. And this just kind of goes hand in hand with what I always tell you guys. The mainstream reporters haven't reported on this. In fact, HDTV test, Artings, Digital Trends, and a lot of them are still singing everything is awesome about literally all the products they review. And they never tell you what's not so awesome. And I find that to be a shame. So I think if you want honesty, you probably should Again, look at yourself or try to find some of these other independent, again, sources and articles because believe me, a lot of independent articles are reporting on this and this is something that should be talked about more. Reason being is because when we pay over, I don't know, $1,600 for TVs like they're asking nowadays, that's a massive price hike and for your TV not to be protected is a big deal. And for these reporters not to A, tell you how to scan and B, show you all the steps, it just kind of screams disingenuous when they want to tell you that it's the best TV of 2019 or something so fantastic or groundbreaking or tears up some rule book, but then can get a virus and they don't know how to exactly show you to get around that or at least to scan for these things. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if you run into vi viruses or any kind of malware, contact Samsung immediately and let them know the nature of the problem that you're having so that you can get it troubleshooted and warrantied before your, your again, warranty is expired. And a special tip from experience, you usually wanna try to do this stuff within your first 90 days across the board with many manufacturers because usually after 90 days, They'll try to give you a refurbished TV, and Sony is especially notorious for this, so be very, very careful with that. That being said, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.